Hey, how's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod bundle. That's right, you read the title correctly. Today we are checking out immersion-based mods, and I've got a handful for you, and some that are not only available on Xbox, but PS4 as well, so stay tuned for that. For starters, the hunting in Fallout 4 is a little bit lackluster, and if you're doing a survival playthrough, hunting is a big part of that. You need to have food to eat, and one of the best sources of food is definitely meat. So to improve upon that system, we are using Hunter of the Commonwealth by ZZYXZZ. Hunter of the Commonwealth makes an immersive attempt to improve upon the vanilla hunting system. Now, whenever you kill an animal, instead of just looting the meat and other materials, you actually need to butcher them. And that means you actually need a knife. If you try to butcher an animal or inspect it without a knife, it will tell you that you need one. Now, it's not super picky. As long as you have some sort of sharp object like a knife or machete and even some modded melee weapons, you'll be able to activate an animal carcass. From there, you have a few options. Those are butcher, harvest, skin, and dispose. When butchering, you will of course acquire that animal or bug's meat. When you harvest, you can acquire the bones if it's an animal or if it's a bug, maybe a gland or other items. Skin will of course grant you leather if you are trying to skin, say, a radstag or a yaoguai. And dispose will simply remove of the body this is a great alternative if you're not using a scrapping mod. If a mole rat dies in your settlement, now you can actually dispose of it without having to scrap it. Additionally, each of these actions does take time to do, and some take more time depending on the size of the animal or the action that you are doing, and all of these skills can be improved the more that you do them. And all of these settings can be tweaked in the custom MCN menu added by this mod. All in all, this is just an awesome change to the way that hunting works in Fallout 4 because there really wasn't a system in place from the get-go. So, if you want a more immersive, better way to find food, this is definitely one you should try out. Sadly, this is only available on PC at the moment, but maybe there will be a patch sometime in the future. Up next, we have an amazing mod called the Classic Holstered Weapon System by Shavkakagarikia. What this mod does is it treats weapons exactly like they were in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. When you holster them or put them away, they will go on your back or on your side depending on which respective weapon it is. If you have a rifle, it'll go on your back. If you have a pistol, it will go on your side. And some machine pistols and SMGs as well. Heavy weapons do not currently work, at least not mini guns or things like that. But that was the case in Fallout New Vegas as well, so not much has changed there. This mod is created using the Fallout 4 script extender, so it is not available on PS4 or Xbox. There are mods that can achieve something similar with a lot of patches, but they are used as clothing items and a lot of times won't reflect the attachments on your weapon either. This is a very true to form, version of the New Vegas Fallout 3 style of just holstering your weapons on your back. It's a really, really awesome mod and it's super immersive. No longer will your weapons just teleport inside of you. They are actually stored where they should be. Another thing that I really like about using this mod is now you can see what kind of weapons your potential foes or allies actually have on them. If you're walking around Diamond City, you will see that people actually have weapons holstered and you can see how much of a threat they are if things are going to go south or if they have a really, really cool hat that you just gotta have. Again, this is just an amazing one, and if you're not using it already, download it. What are you waiting for? The link is in the description. Moving on, we have another mod by Shavkagakarika, and that is the Bullet Counted Reload System. Now, if you're like anybody in the Fallout community who was super excited to see the lever action return in the Far Harbor DLC, I'm sure you were very disappointed to see that whenever you reload, it was always the same reload animation. No matter how many bullets you were reloading, you would reload 5 or 8 if you were using the extended barrel. So, you shoot one bullet, you reload 5. I don't know where you're putting all those extra bullets, but you're finding space for them somewhere. This mod aims to fix that, and it aims to fix that using a system that can be applied to other weapons as well. So not only will this fix your lever action in the base game, there are many mods that are created with this system in mind or have patches for this very mod so that it works with other lever action rifles or pump action shotguns. For example, if you are using the Cowboy Repeater mod that has come out some time ago, this has a patch for it. Or if you are using some newer shotgun mods like the Mossberg 500 or the Taz that came out not too long ago, there will either be a patch or even a built-in version of this system so that when you reload, it reloads the correct amount. Now for older mods like the Hunting Shotgun where it is patched in, the animations can be a little bit funky sometimes, but I much prefer that over having to reload my entire mag after just shooting two shells. All in all, this is a not necessarily something that adds immersion, but fixes the breaking of immersion that was in the base game. It's really good to have an implemented system like this, especially when it already existed in New Vegas and Fallout 3, and yet it didn't exist in Fallout 4. I don't know if that's an engine limitation or what the issue was, but it's definitely something they missed out on big time. So if you want to fix that, download this mod, 
This version does rely on script extender, so it is PC only. However, I have included a link for Xbox that will at the very least fix your lever action. And I believe that there are some patches that may apply to other weapons, but I'm not too sure about that. For our next immersion mod, do you hate the way that Fallout 4 enemies are complete bullet sponges? You run into a super mutant. He's pretty high level. You take your 50 cal anti-material rifle, you shoot him in the head, and nothing. He looks at you and continues to fight, and that is an issue. So we are checking out Realistic Headshots by Shadow Shade. This is a mod I have run since I was on Xbox, and I'm continuing to use on PC because it is amazing. On top of mods like the game configuration menu where I will up the damage both ways, I also use Realistic Headshots. This applies a 20 times multiplier to enemies for their head hitbox. That sounds like a lot, I'm aware, but it really isn't. For example, what this is actually going to look like is if you find a raider and you have a 38 pistol and they are not wearing a helmet and you shoot them in the head, what should happen? They will perish. Now, if you are fighting a very high level enemy with some armor, they might not. Even with that 20 times multiplier, that's just how bullet spongy Fallout 4 enemies are. Another thing is this is only applied to enemies that it makes sense for. So humans, robo brains, and smaller animals will have the headshot multiplier. However, bigger things like the behemoths, Death Claws and Robots will not have this multiplier because they have armor plating or some reason to not have the multiplier applied to them. This really only works against things that it makes sense to work for. Now, it's understandable if you don't want to download this mod because it maybe makes the game too easy, but you do have to pull off those headshots, and if you're like me and you don't use VATS, that can be difficult at some times, unless you're sniping from really far away. But, a plus side to this mod, it is not only available on PC, but it is available on Xbox and PS4 as well as there are no custom assets. So this is definitely one you should try out if you are a console user. Up next, yet another immersive mod that mirrors something from past Fallout games. We have Classic Radiation Poisoning 2 by Fallout Kid 12 and the Iron Toads. Now, I can't necessarily speak to the immersive factor of the radiation because I myself have never been irradiated. However, I can assume that radiation will not directly remove your hit points, being as we don't have any in the first place, but rather will apply some nasty side effects, and that's what this mod aims to achieve. So much like Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, yet again, this mod makes the radiation actually uh, apply to a different slider than your health bar. So you will see the red adding to your health bar, but it will not actually take away your hit points. They are two separate levels, and as your radiation gets bigger and bigger, you will receive more and more debuffs. The worse you get, the more debuffs you get, and there are a few patches to change what kind of debuffs they are, whether you want it to mirror things like Fallout 3 New Vegas, or things like Fallout 1 and 2, which can be much more difficult. And of course, if you receive enough radiation poisoning, you will die without losing those hit points. It was a big step in the wrong direction for me, the way that Bethesda did it in the original version of Fallout 4. Having radiation take away from your hit points made it feel like finding right away was as much of a necessity as Stimpaks were. Now don't get me wrong, Radaway and Radex are important, but it shouldn't be relied on that much. In Fallout New Vegas, if you had 5 points of radiation damage, you didn't really mind it because you got no debuffs and it didn't really affect you that much. Whereas in Fallout 4, those are precious hit points that you may need, especially in survival. This will make it harder, yet easier at the same time. It'll make it easier in terms of your hit points, but it will make it harder in that radiation will cause debuffs that you really don't want to have. Things like minus your strength or endurance or perception. Those are skills that you definitely need, especially if you're passing some tough skill checks. This is just my preferred method of radiation in Fallout, and it's a really cool one. Sadly, this one is only available on PC, and I haven't been able to find anything that mirrors it on the console side, but if you guys know of anything, please drop that in the comments below. And finally, a mod that I came across very recently, we are using Realistic Bullets, Velocity and Gravity by Shanik the Oat Meme. This mod is similar to Weapons of Fate or True Tracers, if you're familiar with either of those mods, in that it will add velocity and gravity to your bullets, as well as tracers if you want them. There are actually two different versions of the mod, one with tracers and one without, depending on your style, and I personally thought that I would prefer without tracers. But the way that tracers are handled in this mod are actually pretty excellent. They aren't super bright or super long, they don't look cartoony, they're actually pretty nice. The only way I was ever able to really capture them was to go in and free cam, and find them off in the distance. However, when you do see them in, say, a big battle between a group of raiders or at night when it's being fired at you, the tracers are a pretty nice touch, but you won't really see them during the day. This also adds realistic velocity and gravity, so bullets travel very fast but do have drop at an extended range. Unlike other mods, the drop is very realistic, so it won't happen until it's pretty far out there, so you probably won't notice the drop unless you are sniping, but it is definitely there. 
I also really love the tracers on shotguns. That may not be the most realistic thing in the world, but it looks pretty cool when you shoot it up into the night sky. Now, the reason I'm showing you this mod and not something like true tracers or weapons of fate is, well, one, personally, I just really prefer the aesthetic of this mod. But secondly, it's the only mod I've actually seen that applies to modded ammo types. For example, here I'm firing 9mm ammo out of the 9mm pistol by Deadpool 2099, and the tracers are actually applied and there is some bullet drop off in the distance. Another reason is because this mod is available not only on PC, but once again for Xbox and PS4. Those links will be in the description if you want to check those out for yourself. So yeah guys, those are my picks for my favorite immersion mods. If you have any that you think I missed, drop them in the comments below because I'm sure anybody watching this is here to gather more and more immersion mods besides the one that I've mentioned. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. It gets us into that algorithm and gets more Fallout 4 mods to the people who are looking for them. And if you want to see more series like this in the future, consider subscribing. We do mod bundles every single Wednesday, so there will be more coming and there's plenty more already on the channel. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.